Hi, welcome back. I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 81. We're looking still at this collections graph. Be a little patient. There are a few more basic things we got to get through. Once we're through those basics, we got the fundamentals down. We're going to do a lot of cool things with these charts. There are a few more things we got to go through, and, and here's an easy one today. We're going to deal with these grid lines, these lines that go across our chart. Here's the menu, the horizontal grid lines. Right now we've got major. We can do minor, which is all the tiny ones, which in this case is every 10,000. You can see the increments between 500 and 450,000. Or we can do both. So it'll do the 50s a little bit, um, a little bit darker, a little bit more bold. Uh, whoops. Or you can turn them off altogether. And for some of the tricks we're going to do later on, you're going to want to be able to do things like that. But we'll put back to major there. Vertical. Right now there aren't any. You can put lines in between doctors A, B, C, and D. Um, minor ones don't really help you so much in this um, scenario. You see they, they kind of cut some of them in half and frame the others. And you depend on the chart. And you can do both. You can make a uh, major and minor, major and minor. You can put all kinds of things in there. Um, but generally leaving the horizontal on, the vertical off works. The, the formatting is just what kind of line do you want. You can do a line style. You can make them thicker or thinner or different types of lines. Play with them a little bit and put some shadow to them. But for the most part, that's all we're doing with grid lines. The ability to turn these things on and off is going to help us down the road. And we'll get there soon. Hope that was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.